Today, we're opening the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Cyberstorm Access. What's up, Breaker Army? I'm Cardbreaker. Welcome back to another epic video. The latest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Cyberstorm Access, is finally here to help continue the celebrations for the 25th anniversary of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I cannot wait to see what we're going to pull today. Before we get into today's opening, you guys know I've got you with an epic giveaway, like always. I've given away quite a few of these on the channel, and you guys know Dark the Dark Charmer is still a really expensive super rare. Enter for a chance to win, make sure you leave a like on today's video, make sure you're a subscriber, make sure you guys do ring that bell, and leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite archetype and your favorite card from this brand new set, and make sure you reply to a friend down below in the comments, but let's get into this booster box. You guys know before we get into this booster box that we've got to check out the amazing artwork that Konami has continued to deliver on here lately for the 25th anniversary. I am really excited to get into this box because I am a big fan of the branded slash Despia lore. Now this is a box that is being opened for a really good friend of mine, Blue Eyes Gaming 3, while he is on vacation out of the country. So I cannot wait to see what we're going to pull for him because he is also a huge fan of the branded and Despia lore, which you guys really need to go check him out on Instagram. But let's not waste any more time. I'm going to do the usual shuffle up these packs and get this ready to go. And here we go. Time to get into Cyberstorm Access. Really do love the way these packs look with the 25th anniversary of Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm curious to see how packs are going to stack up over the next couple of years during the 25th anniversary to see if they're going to go up, if they're going to go down, simply because it is a 25th anniversary. But here we go, checking out this set for the very first time. We've got some crazy support in this set, really across the board. There's Firewall Dragon support. There's, of course, the Despia cards. And we're seeing some Pendulum stuff. I know the big one is a super, super heavy Samurai's. So let's see if we can get some of the crazy stuff in this box. So we're starting out with another archetype in here, the Teller Knight Altarian, or, uh, or Alterain, something like that. Dual Avatar, Super Heavy Samurai, the Manadium. I hope I'm pronouncing that one right. I know that was one that is uh, that was being hyped up a lot, so I don't know how well that's going to do into the current meta. I know some of the bigger cards, of course, are the Despia cards, and the Super Heavy Samurais have been kind of blowing up like crazy. This artwork is really nice. It reminds me, I'm actually playing a lot of Elden, uh, Elden Ring right now. So if you guys have played that game, this just reminds me of like what a boss would look like in the game. <laughs> really kind of cool. Golden Cloud Beast, Malong, Virtual World Tiger, and another Manadium, Fearless. Love the artwork. Like I said, with the booster box, Konami is doing a great job with even just like the commons. And I've said this countless times during my openings that Konami is just doing a really great job. Overall, with, with most of the stuff, you know, I'm not going to say everything is amazing, but they're doing a pretty good job, kind of uh, overall, I would say. This this is probably one of the coolest cards in this set. How did Dai get here? Everyone's probably talked about this, because this is Warrior Dai Greffer, featured in a modern card. Bunny Ear Enthusiast, we know everyone's going to love that one. And we're starting out with our first Ultra Rare of the box, the Gold Pride Chariot Carry, which actually happens to be one of the Starlight Rares in this set. You know, if we were to pull a Starlight Rare, I would be grateful because this is for my good friend Blue Eyes Gaming, like I was saying. But that is not the one that we would want to see. We've got one of our Ultras so far. We are, what is this, like our fourth pack into the box. So we are, we are hoping that everything was shuffled up really well and we don't get all of the hits in the very first couple packs. We're going to go through the first couple commons a little bit slower just to look at the arts and read off some of the cards. Gunkin Shuship Catch of the Day. And the Bestial Aluber, I know that he is going to be super excited for this one, because I know I am, and he is a huge fan of the Branded and Despia lore. So that is a beautiful card. Just admire that artwork. I really, you know, it's unfortunate that they printed the Aluber to pretty much Oblivion, and the, the value of it went just so far down. I remember, was it 2021, when Donna Majesty was out, like Branded opening, the Aluber was, uh, oh, we got a crimp card here, guys. You don't see that all that often. It's kind of interesting because like in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, crimp cards are worth like nothing. <laughs> Nobody really wants them because it's technically damaged and it's really unfortunate when you see that on some bigger cards. We got Purely Support in here. We got Saki Tama, don't know what that is. And a Manadium Abscission. What else we got? Brightest Blazing Branded King. That's a really cool card. Dream Tower, Fusion Duplication, Cyber Sage. So we're seeing a little bit of everything, a little bit of every, every type of archetype support with this set. Kind of, kind of random. I don't know like what Konami's decision is when they're making sets. Like, oh, we're gonna print this, 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 and this, or if they're just or trap tricks, I guess maybe with this one, uh, trap tracks, something. I'm, I'm guessing maybe with support with that one. Imperial Princess, Pig Iron versus Pen Peg. Uh, okay, 
Again, Konami does some interesting things with their artwork. At least this name isn't like incredibly difficult to pronounce. We've got the Baromet, the Sacred Sheep Shrub. So just a shrub there, Sweet Dreams, Brightest again, Manadium, and another Manadium. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right with the Manadium. Or is it Manadium? It, it looks more like Manadium, but I, I could be totally wrong. You guys know the way I pronounce things aren't, <laughs> isn't really the most accurate way. Super Heavy Samurai Stealthy. We've got the Sinet Circuit, the Firewall Phantom, and ooh, the Peaceful Planet Calar Planet Planet Calarium. So that is one of our secret rares. I know, I think this one was one of the more expensive secrets. So we are really hoping because we want to get some of the bigger ones. I really would love to see. I think it's the uh, this is it Despia Lulu uh, Waililith or something like that. That is like one of the bigger ones in this set. And because it is a Despia card, we want to pull it from I Got Blue Eyes Gaming Three. Like I said, go check him out on IG. He does a lot of actually really cool lore uh, posts and stuff on IG for the Despian branded stuff. But he also posts a lot for like Master Duel because he does duel a bunch. And you guys really should go check him out. We've got the Pure Pure Lily, I think is how you pronounce that. Fall of Argaros, I think is how you pronounce that. Ooh, Super Heavy Samurai Brave Musarawo. I hope I'm pronouncing that one right too. The Super Heavy Samurais look awesome. I'm guessing this is like a super beast boss monster because look at those stars and the defense. This thing is a beast. Super tanky. You know, that is one you're going to want to keep in defense position. Maybe I'm just kind of going off, of, going on a guess there. I don't really know since I'm, I don't know the archetype too well. So I don't know how those play. Like, obviously, if they're super aggressive, super defensive, if they're, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of just kind of rambling here at this point. <laughs> we got double hooking the Suship cards. Uh, Kitsune, Kitsune Bay. The Cyanet rollback, kind of crazy to still see Cyanet cards. I know they haven't seen a lot of uh, support or hype here lately. I think Mathmex is the most recent like robot looking archetype that I can think of that's gotten some kind of like good support and use in the um, in the meta. Cyanet circuit again, Firewall Phantom, Gold Pride, it's neck and neck, and the Constellar Teller Knights. Really cool to see the Stellar Knights and Teller Knights get some support in this set. Dual Avatar, New Frontier, and this crazy looking common. We are about halfway through our packs today. How are you guys liking Cyberstorm Access so far? Is this set like everything you thought it was going to be? I know it was hyped up like crazy when it was first announced because of all the just the variety of the support in this set. Uh, mostly because of the Manadium. I think it's Manadium. That, that sounds about right. I hope I'm saying it right. Ooh, there is actually one of the better supers in the set. I did look up the price list before opening this box. Super Heavy Samurai, Prodigy, Wakushi. I, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that is one of the more expensive supers, uh, which is kind of crazy to see a super rare like in a modern set that's worth like over like <laughs> over 25 cents. When I last looked, it was like two bucks, which is still pretty crazy for a modern card. Gold Pride, Neck and Neck, Sakitama, they've fallen again, and it is the Teller Knight, All Terrain. We've got another one of those. Dino Morphia is coming back in some support in here. Kashtira, Sweet Dreams, Amazements, geez, everything's everything's getting support in this set. It's kind of like the Oprah Winfrey set. You get some support, you get some support, everyone gets some support. It's a, it's cool to see Norca types uh, get some support even like many, many years. I think Amazement Attraction was what? Was that was Lightning Overdrive, I think, back in 2021. We've got Double Hooking, How Did I Get Here? And it is the Firewall Defensor. I did see that this card is getting hyped up right now, so I know that's definitely one of the top ultra rares in the set. So that is a beauty. You love to see it. I don't really know how it stacks up with some other archetypes, but that is definitely a nice one. And you guys know I'm a huge, huge, huge Sword Soul person. So it is cool to see another Sword Soul card. I don't really know what all has uh, has come up for this set for the Sword Soul archetype, but I am definitely going to have to look into it. Now, although I'm not really playing a lot right now, um, I am getting really close to uh, starting up some Master Duel for you guys. I know I've said it before on my YouTube post that I'm, I've got the itch to start dueling. And I, I really want to interact. Oh, we just skipping past Gunkin ship into the Dreaming Nemlaria. That is a really nice looking artwork. I don't care too much for Pendulums, but it is a really nice looking artwork. That is for sure. Like I was saying, I am super excited to start actually posting some Master Duel videos. I don't know how much I'll do. Like I may go live on YouTube. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go live on YouTube or if I'm going to go live on like Twitch or something. I'll be sure, of course, to let you guys know. I do need to figure out, you know, everything within like OBS and try and figure all that junk out. We got another Manadium Fearless. I think we pulled that one earlier, if I'm not mistaken. So we got another one of those, and we are about two thirds through this booster box. Again, guys, let me know your thoughts on Cyberstorm Access. What is your favorite archetype? What is your favorite card? The winner, the winner, the win today's giveaway. 
Bunny Air Enthusiast, and the Votis. This is a crazy uh, serpent-looking card there. You love to see just the random random uh, artworks as another one of our Sword Soul Punishments. I'm going to have to actually read that one when i got some extra time. So we are... We've got, I think, what is it? One Secret and one Ultra to go for My Guy Blue Eyes Gaming. Hopefully, we can get him some of the Branded and Despia cards. we got the Pure Lily, and it is the Tri-Brigade Roar. I know, um, I think Tri-Brigades have actually seen some hype here lately with uh, with some... I, I don't think it's like Tier 0, you know, obviously not Tier 0. Maybe maybe Tier 2 style decks. I think um, I think that's kind of where I've seen it play a lot. Pig Iron Pen Peg, I love that card. Pure Lily. Oh, yes, we did get the Despia and Lulu -a Lilith. <laughs> Try saying that name really fast. Oh, that is so exciting. This, like, honestly, I'm going to have to buy one of these because this is the most insane looking artworks of any modern card that I have seen. So that is huge. We skipped right to it. And oh my gosh, this card looks so good. Like, I've only seen it in pictures and stuff shared on, like, Instagram and stuff. But wow, guys, that is a stunning and striking artwork on that card. So that is huge. I am very, very excited to pull that for you, my guy, Blue Eyes Gaming. Very, very happy with that pull because I know he was, I think that was the number one card he was wanting. It's unfortunate that we didn't get like the Chaos Goddess, or is it Chaos? I think it's Chaos Angel. That's the most expensive uh, Synchro slash Secret Rare in this set. Got the Aptude of the Branded, the Signet Circuit, Golden Cloud Beast, and the Reincarnation of the Seventh Emperors. We've got one more, I think one more Ultra to go and a possible, possible Starlight Rare. I think last time I, when I pulled my one and only Starlight Rare, it doesn't take place of a secret rare, so maybe we can get one today. Oh, there is our last ultra. It is the gold pride, unfortunately. Gold pride that came out of nowhere. <laughs> so we're going to go through these last couple packs just a little bit faster. We've got, it looks like four left. So speed round through these. Maybe, you know, I don't want to jinx it just in case there is a starlight rare hiding in here. That would just be absolutely insane. I'm hoping, so he does actually have a couple more boxes. We've got the Grand Sulfur Cord Coolia. <laughs> I love the name of that one. Um, he does actually, he sent me five boxes in total and I'll be opening up, you know, some here on the channel and sending the rest back to him while he is vacationing, living it up out of the country right now. I am super jealous of where he's at. Very happy for you, my friend. We got another Manadium, the Manadium Meek. I think we, we think we pulled that one before. So we got two packs left, two chances to possibly pull us a Starlight Rare in what I think was a really good box. Getting that Despian Lulu card was huge. Like I said, I'm gonna have to buy that one. If I have any friends out there that have a Europrint specifically, because I know that one's gonna look nutty in Europrint, please hit me up. I want it so bad. Time tearing Morganite. So no Starlight Rare yet, but that's okay. We've got one more pack left. Can we get the Starlight Rare in the very last pack? For my guy, Blue Eyes Gaming, after what has been an epic box, we've got the the card looks like an Elder Ring boss, Cyber, so I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that name. <laughs> My favorite card of the set, Imperial Princess, and it is the Teller Knight Lyran. So no Starlight Rare from this box, but that doesn't matter because we pulled some of the biggest cards. And I know my guy, Blue Eyes Gaming, is going to be super hyped to see this video and get those cards and welcome him back when he gets back from his vacation. But if you guys are interested in watching some more epic content, make sure you click one of the two videos at the very end. I do hope you guys have a nice day, but have a nice night. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Card Breaker. I'm out.